Who the hell was that? In my opinion, a grumpy person. He just sat there and read. I'm sure that's a pretty normal in a coffee shop. I mean, you always do that well. Do that here when you are writing. I guess you are right. Anyway, where we are? Where we all? Oh, sorry. Oh, yes. What are you doing here, young lady? It's, uh, it's pretty late, you know. I don't have anywhere else to go. And this place looks cozy. I see. So you basically wanted to go to to a bar. But you're under age, right? Uh, Freya is uh, smiling and laughing. Oh, how did you know? You can read minds now, old man. I have a daughter around her age. It's easy to translate what they say. Especially when you have to deal with them every day. I don't know why you are here. But everything gonna be okay. You can forget all of your problems while you're here. Dude, you are a cop. It's not his job to take care of someone else's daughter. He is a cop. That is exactly his job. Relax, Freya. Don't be so uptight. Yeah. Mr. Policeman here made me feel much safer already. You know it yourself, Freya. This place is very safe. Right, Officer Georgie? Of course. This is the safest place around here. Hey, that endorsement comes with a discount, right? What? Don't look at me that way. You are a cop, old man. Act like one. I deal with crimes and public safety. Who I should know how to handle someone else's daughter. You should know. You are a father yourself. Oh, right. Guys, you know I can hear you, right? Really? See, Freya, she has good hearing. That should help her, pro her protect herself. Anyway, Miss Rachel. Miss Rachel, what brings you here? As, I, as I've told the others, I had a fight with my dad. Haha. Why are you laughing? Me and my daughter fight every day. Hey, why would you say that? Because it's true. I found a lot with my kids. I fought a lot with my a lot with my kids. That's normal. In fact, whenever we finish arguing about something, we become closer family. Huh? Because when things have calmed down, I learn something about them. And they learn something about me as well. As long as we don't leave things unresolved, an argument makes things better. But it happens so often. Tonight was just one among countless others. It wasn't like this before. Before it happened. You mean... Before your solo career? No. Before mom passed away. Passed away. What happens after each fight? Hmm. Nothing. We just don't talk about it. Until other fight starts. Another fight starts. Unresolved problems are dangerous. It ain't easy. But you gotta understand each other better. Each other better, sorry. And as much as I hate to admit it, 
conflict is always the best way to know someone, even your own blood. But it was never this bad when mom was around. She is the only one who understood me. And she also understood your father. Maybe he and your mom also had arguments. But your mom acted like a mediator between the two of you. That's possible. Now that mom's gone, I don't have anyone to act as my guardian. And your dad? He lost his best negotiator. Wait a second. You just said this has happened a lot. But why did you run this time? My daughter never ran away. Wait. Maybe it's because I'm the one who always ran away. Using my job as an excuse. I can confirm that. Yeah, I run here a lot. But yeah, I hate to tell you again. But both gonna resolve your issues. Unresolved problems are dangerous. In any relationship. I can't understand what you are going though. True, Rachel. I also ran away when I was younger. Are you on a good terms with your parents now? I am. When and how did you ha did it happen? To be honest, I'm not even sure myself. It just happened. Maybe I should run even farther. I mean, I have my own income. I don't need to rely on my dad. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. Why? I'm an adult. No adult would ever say I am an adult. Just give yourself time to think, Miss Rachel. And try to understand your father's perspective. I'm sure both of you will be able to solve this. Like adults. You don't need to rush to a decision. To a decision. I'm not sure about that. Just take your time. But no. No, I would recommend you just go home. It's really late. I need to go home as well. I can give you a ride. But you don't need to talk to your father right away. Just go straight to your room. At least knowing you are safe at home will give him some give him some peace. That will allow him to think more clearly about everything. You're right. You really are a cop, Georgie. Of course, I am. So, where do you live, Miss Rachel? In the western part of Town. Oh, that's quite far. You are still going to drive me home, right? Old man. Of course I will. Could I drive you home too, Miss Freya? No, you don't have to. I'm riding my bike. Are you sure? One hundred percent sure. Okay, we'll be off then. Thank you, Suki and Freya. Take care on your way home. See you around, Suki. as I went. Yes, you can stay longer if you want. Nah, it's fine. I also have to call it a, to call it a day. How's the writing, by the way? It's getting there. That's nice to hear. I'm juggling a lot of work, though. Barely made my deadlines. I don't 
know if I can keep this up. Why don't you just come clean? Tell your boss about the publishing offer. Who knows? Maybe she'll understand. Yeah, right. Great job, Freya. Here, take some money. Go take a vacation and finish your novel. Your dreams. I'm not exactly employee of the month. You never know. You never know. I might end up up the up. I might end up on the chopping block. Oh, the pressure. I'm sure about one thing, though. So, this coffee shop has a lot of stories to tell. So yeah, I'll probably be back tomorrow. The door is always open for you. Haha, <laughs> I bet it is. Okay then, take care. Be careful on your way home. Chai Adeni, sweet spicy chai latte from the town of Aden, Yemen. Friday, September the 25th, 2020. Okay guys, now it's the perfect time to wrap this episode up. Thanks for watching, take care, bye bye.